Hello, my marvellous sausages, and its secrets are go, go, we're all starting again. Oh, I love it! Now, what we've got here is, you know, Finch, we're here in the throne world, and we're in the Quagmire area, or Quagmire, giggity, giggity. Now then, in this area here, uh, there's a little cave next to old Finch here. Here it is, look, and you can see there's two pieces of paper in here. Now, this is exactly the same as the penguins on, uh... Beyond Light on Europa. So each of them, they got like a, 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 a rough guide as to where one of these things are. And what we're looking for in this time, surprise, surprise, are little moths. Lucent moths. So we've got two starting this week. Now they seem to be time gated and uh, they'll probably unlock as we go forward. Now this is also tied to a triumph. So if you come to the throne world node and then we go across to world and down to secrets, you can see one here called Lepidoptera. So there's uh, there's actually ten of them all together, so we're going to do the first two now. And you're going to get lore for a book called Lucent Tales. So it's quite like the little girl uh, tales from the penguins in uh, Beyond Light. So anyway, let me show you where these two are this week. Now this first one is actually in the Quagmire area. So we'll have a little look for them. We can't do much with that at the moment. We can't say bugger all, but it's giving us a rough idea where it is. So what we need to do is, uh, from where Finch is, you need to go to where the lost sector is on the map really so just follow the way i'm going get on your spiro and trundle i did that last time you could just go straight up the muddy path here uh, then you want to wend your way around this way uh, and then you want to keep on going until we go through this bit here Yes, keep on going through the bits of ruins, and then you can see uh, we've got uh, one of the uh, deep site resonance things there for the lost sector. But this cave in here is where we're going. And uh, this gun I've got with the necrotic grips is amazing. Little video about this coming soon. Well, anyway, you can see there's a collection of gits in here, so we just need to kill them first. Uh, there's a chap there who's legging it. Look, let's go get him. Get him, Vivian. So there we go. Witch is dead. Sorry, I had to do a quick cut there. Now let's come back to turn around from where I killed the witch. Look, so we're still in this cave. Let me show you on the map where I am. Look, we're kind of just by the lost sector underneath. Have a squiz around. It's not that hard to find. And there it is, glowing there. So pick that baby up. That's marvellous. And then what we need to do is return back to Finch. Right, so we go up to the first letter and uh, we'll add the loose moth here. And there we go. There is the moth. Very nice. And that's our first one. Right, next, we're going to do this one. Now, it says reports of a unique lucent moth in the apothecary. Now, there are a couple of ways to the apothecary, but unless you've completed the parasite mission quest, there's a teleporter door that takes you there, which is a bit shorter. But this is the way to get there on foot. Now, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little bit of a uh, trek, but don't worry, we'll do it. So we're starting from Finch. Didn't we call him Flynn then? What the hell do you think this is? Tron? Okay, so we're going to start from uh, Finch there, and we're going to go up the main drawbridge, drawway, doodah of the lovely purple marble palace here to a place called the Alluring Curtain. Whoa. Right, so you want to go up the uh, main drive here. My god, it's absolutely, completely gorgeous. But don't go into the vaginal entrance. <laughs> you want to go to the right of it here with your smoking sparrow and uh, keep on jumping around. And uh, here we go. We can see here we've got uh, lots of little jumpy, platformy bits. Now, it's not too bad, I suppose, but here we go. So, uh, just jump on this platform here, and then over onto this one here, and there's definitely a Sauron thing going on with the eyeballs everywhere. Have you noticed, like, the stained glass windows and things then? They're just it's looking at you all the time because we had the eyes of Savathun, remember, in the uh, Arrival, season of the Arrivals, which I loved. Anyway, here we are in this bit here, and there's the lucky eyes look. Look at them looking around. Oh, I love it. It's brilliant. Uh, right, okay, so down the uh, large flight of stairs here, these kinds of things are the game and everything is amazing and all the stuff is totally brilliant, but I love these hidden things. It's great. Right, so next, we want to go a left here once we're into the alluring curtain. There's the Sauron eyeball. I mean, it's Savathun's eyeball. Uh, and then into this bit here. And then kill the gits. Kill the gits. And what we're going to find here is a deep sight resonance. You know, one of these glowy miasmic cloud type things. Let's just kill that wizard. I'm using my Osteostriga still. Okay, let's get that. And then that's going to reveal a path for us up around here. So let's just follow the path. 30 seconds to do so. 
And actually, that's where we're heading all the way over there. Would you believe it? Shot up the ass. Right, okay, let's keep on going. And onto the top. And then over onto the big swingy pendulum thingy. And then over onto this platform thingy. There are other deep sight resonances around the place. You can see them here. And there's also another one down here. But you can't activate them because you need to be level 3. And you level up with Finch. Look, see that one's deep sight tier 3? You level up with Finch back there at the landing zone. So here we go. Keep on going here. You might recognize this from one of the missions. Actually, if you've done the missions, of course, I'm not going to give anything away. But uh, yes, we have been here before. It's when we were smashing high bogeys off things. Do you remember that with the swords? Anyway, once you've killed things around here to protect your ass, here is the next deep right, deep right, deep sight resonance. Activate that, baby. And uh, then it's going to open up that set of stairways there and we'll diddle on up. Another thing uh, I've got on is my um, treasure hunter and a resource finder on my ghost to 50 meters or 40 meters because you can pick up some goodies as you're going and each one of those will give you a 20 point towards your rank with Finch and then that'll help you unlock the deep sight resonance tiers which is going to be really important for all the exploring we've got to do right so here we are on this bit here jump down to here and then we're getting close to the eyeball apothecary place. Not too far to go. There we go. See, look, we got another resource there. That wasn't here on the last one I did about 15 minutes ago. So pick them up. It's well worth it. Right, up the stairways. Now, don't worry about these arse pipes here or that deep sight resonant. There's a little window here that we want to go towards. I just want to jump down here and make our way through the uh, lovely uh, fountains with a submerged sort of ivory thrall in there. Wouldn't it be great if they sat up in a spooky manner if something happened? Look, more stuff. Picked up the fundamental osmium. Here we go through the next set of uh, um, n -n 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 <laughs> fountain poody things. Christ, I forget my bloody words all the time. Go through here, take a left, then take a right, and then down this massive stairway. We are nearly there, governors. Down here and down here. Careful not to die because, you know, they're quite a big drop. There we go. And we are nearly at the apothecary. It's just through this vaginal arch. There we go. Apothecary. Now then, uh, it's not this first section we want to get to. It's the second section. Unfortunately, you can't summon your Spiro, so you're going to have to joggity jog. There we are. That's the way we came from. Bloody hell. Look at this place. It's stunning. And have you noticed that they like the miasma type clouds and things? They all look like spider webs. There's a reason for that. A uh, story reason for that. But uh, I won't say a word. Uh, okay, let's get, get, there's no giant spiders. Did spoil that. Um, and uh, let's keep on going to the middle bridge here. And then finally, there's a bloody hell, a huge bird just flew outside my window. I think it was a buzzard. I shat myself then. Right, let's keep on going past the uh, gits and turnips. And here we go. This is what we want. This deep sight resonance. And when we activate this, there are things that it reveals. And it's these little black doodars here. So shoot that one. There's one there. Uh, let's drop down here. And we've got uh, one outside here. So that's two. We need five. That's two. Uh, and there's another one. There's three. And then there's another one here. That's four. And then the last one is up on the backside of this planter here that you get from B&Q. And there we go. There's our beautiful Lucent Hive Moth. Isn't it an attractive fellow? So don't forget, pick it up thusly. And then we'll just bugger off back to Finch. And also, we've got 250 bloody points for doing those, which is great. There's 500 there this week already. And look, I'm up with Finch. So here we are, back with Finch. We'll go and see you in a minute, matey. Uh, we'll go and dump this on the second one here. Add our Lucent Moth. Lepidopterist number two. That's fantastic. There we go. That's great there. And let's go and see what we're going to get from Finch. For our level up. What have we got? On the same side here. You're cleaning up this place like nobody's business. Well, there's a lot of poo everywhere. It's like everybody's business. Okay, there we go. We've got uh, the empirical evidence, which is quite nice. Uh, we're on rank five, which means we've got some Veritas robe, which means truth, doesn't it? I suppose like Veritas serum. And there we go. There's a reputation rank as well there. And we've got another likely suspect. And we've got on that baby the... Uh, 
the residence. What is it? The attunement progress. That's lovely. And triumphs wise, let's go to the throne world. Let's go to exploration. And then secrets, rather. And then Lepidopter. Lepidopterist 2. And then we've got something called Pikmin as well. So there we go. There's those first two lucent moths. Eight more to come over the coming weeks. It'll probably be two a week, I reckon. But we'll see how it unfolds. Loads more stuff coming on the channel because there's just so much to sort out with the Witch Queen. I'm bloody loving it. And don't forget, give me a like and a subscribe subscribe if you enjoyed and give me a comment as well if you've got any questions or any secrets that you found that I should investigate. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. So Sarge. <laughs>